although metric conversions can be done the same way as other conversions, because all of the units are related by powers of 10, conversions can be made by simply moving the decimal. Before we take a look at that, let's review the meaning of the metric prefixes. Notice that, with the exception of one-tenth and one-hundredth, the powers of 10 are all multiples of 3. Let's see if we can find easy ways to remember them. We'll use the gram as the base unit in our example. First, let's look at the prefixes making the unit smaller than a gram. There are 10 decigrams in a gram, just as there are 10 years in a decade. There are 100 centigrams in a gram, just as there are 100 years in a century. There are 1,000 milligrams in a gram, just as there are 1,000 years in a millennium. From here, prefixes go by multiples of 3. For the next prefix, we can just remember that micro sounds a whole lot less than milli. Just remember that the symbol for micro looks like a U, but it has a long tail in the front. It's actually called a mu from the Greek alphabet. And the prefix nano? Well, nano looks just like nine, except the vowels are different. For the prefixes making the unit larger than a gram, the powers go by multiples of three. We've all heard the prefix kilo. There are 1,000 grams in a kilogram. Mega sure sounds larger. There are a million grams in a megagram. Hopefully these tips have helped. You need to know the meaning of these metric prefixes. As we said earlier, to make a metric conversion, you just have to move the decimal. Here, we are being asked to find liters, and we are given the unit milliliters. Since milli means 10 to the negative third, we have to move the decimal three places. Which way? To the left or to the right? Remember, we're not changing the measurement, just the unit. So if the unit gets larger, the number gets smaller, and vice versa. Here, the unit is getting larger, so the number must get smaller. Seventy-four milliliters equals point zero seven four liters. In this example, since micro means 10 to the negative sixth, and our unit is getting smaller, we move the decimal six places, making the number larger. Point zero zero one two five meters is equal to 1,250 micrometers, or micrometers. When we are given two units with prefixes, use the difference between the exponents to determine how many places to move the decimal. Here, the difference between negative 2 and 3 is 5. So, we move the decimal 5 places to make the number larger. 0 0.0015 kilogram equal 150 centigram. In this example, kilo means 3 and nano means negative 9, so we have to move the decimal 12 places. Because that would involve a lot of zeros, we'll use scientific notation in this problem. My unit is getting larger so my number has to get smaller. So my exponent in scientific notation would then go to 10 to the negative 12. We then make sure that the decimal is in the correct place for scientific notation, moving the decimal two places in the coefficient to become 4.85, and then moving our exponent by 2, which would be, then become 10 to the negative 10.